Hey everyone. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to find the x and y intercepts of a cubic function. Now, similar to the last couple of videos we have here, uh, we know that when we're looking for an x intercept, we're going to plug in 0 for y and solve for x. And when we're looking for a y intercept, we would plug 0 in for x and we would solve for y. So that's exactly what we're going to do here with this cubic function. So I have y equals x to the third minus 27. So if I'm looking for the x-intercept, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a 0 for y, and I'm going to solve for x. All right, so I can add 27 on both sides. And I get x to the third is equal to 27. And then I would take the cube root on both sides, and I would get x equals 3. Okay, again, we can plug that in to make sure that it's a coordinate, so that would be the point 3, comma, 0, and that would be the x-intercept. Okay, if we're looking for the y-intercept, we would plug in 0 for x and solve for y, so we get y equals 0 cubed minus 27. Okay, substituting in 0 for x, and we get y equals negative 27. Sorry, negative 27 is what I meant to say. All right, and our coordinate for our y-intercept would be 0, comma, negative 27. Okay, so again, the same procedure can be applied to pretty much any function. If you're looking for the x-intercept, you plug in 0 for y and solve for x. If you're looking for the y-intercept, you plug in 0 for x and solve for y. 